Hey guys, today is the final chapter in Junie B. Jones. It is almost a flower girl. And I don't know about you, but I am so excited to see how this story ends. Because the last time we read this book, mm, she was wishing somebody got lies so they couldn't be in a wedding. And then she ended up getting in a fight with Bo the flower girl and mom was not happy. So today we're going to see how this story ends. So chapter 9 is called Loose Feet. After the church, everybody went to the reception. The reception is a big, giant room where you sit at tables and you listen to loud music and you eat food and cake. Sounds good to me. And then wait till you hear this. The bridesmaid's table was the longest table in the whole entire place. I run right to the end of that hugey thing and guess what? There was a teensy card with my name printed on it. Here, here, I'm sitting here, I hollered to Mother. Just then I saw Aunt Flo. She was coming over with Bo. Uh-oh, I said very nervous. Then I quit hiding behind Mother's skirt. But Aunt Flo didn't even look mad. She bended down next to me in her beautiful wedding gown, and she held my hand real nice. Junie B, honey. I didn't see what happened in the church, but Bo said you tried to take her basket. Is that true? I shook my head very fast. No, Aunt Flo. I didn't try to take her whole entire basket. I promise. I just wanted two teensy petals, and that's all, I said. I held up two fingers. Just this many, Aunt Flo. Just two, because Bo got all the rest of the petals, and so two would be fair for I think. Aunt Flo looked at Bo. Bo, honey, did you hear that? Junie B only wanted two little flower petals. Bo looked shy at me. Look, there she is. Look at her in her pretty dress. Looks like she's getting some petals. All of a sudden, she reached into her basket and she gave me two petals. I smiled real big. Hey, that is a nice gesture of you, Bo, I said. After that, Bo smiled back at me and Aunt Flo put us in our chairs. Bo asked me how old I am. I sat up straight and tall. I am almost six, I said very proud. Bo did a sad sigh. <sighs> Pooh, I'm only five. I'm always the littlest. Always, always, always. I patted her arm very understanding. Don't worry, little Bo. Someday you will be a grown-up lady. Just like me, I said. Bo did a teeny frown. You're not a grown-up lady, she said. Yes, I am so a grown-up lady, Bo. Just ask my mother if you don't believe me, because I acted grown-up for the whole entire wedding, almost. Just then, I quick put my napkin in my lap. See this, Bo? See how I'm putting this napkin in my lap? If I was a baby, I would tuck it in my collar. But grown-up ladies put them in their laps. I sat up even taller. And see how straight and tall I am sitting? This is how grown-up ladies sit, I said. We never slouch and slump. After that, I sat very still, and I didn't move a muscle. Now look at me, Bo, I said out of the corner of my mouth. See how still I am sitting? I am not even squirming. On account of grown-up ladies, do not get ants in their pants. That's why. I folded my hands very polite. Now I am folding my hands very polite, and I am waiting for my food. Bo kept on looking at me. The end, I said. After that, I kept sitting there a real long time. That's how come Bo got tired of looking at me, and she started playing with her spoon. She clinked it on her water glass. Also, she clinked it on her plate, and her knife, and her head. Grown-up ladies do not clink their spoons, I said. Bo shrugged her shoulders at me. After that, she made a puppet out of her napkin, and she made it bite my nose. Hey, I said very surprised. Then I quick did a frown. Grown-up ladies do not play with their napkins, I said. After that, I did a big sigh. Because <sighs> my food was taking a million thousand years, that's why. Finally, my legs started to get stiffish and tightish. Also, I got an ant in my pant, and my foot went to sleep. That is how come I had to hop down from my chair and I stamp my foot on the floor. Sometimes ladies have to stamp their sleeping feet, I explained to Bo. 
it is perfectly acceptable to do this. After that, I shaked my foot all around, but it still did not wake up. I looked at Bo. Okay, here's the thing. Sometimes ladies have to skip around the table to get their blood pumping, I said. Really? said Bo. Yes, trust me, I know what I'm doing. After that, I started to skip around the table. Only too bad for me, because my new shoes hurt my heels a real lot. Plus, also my fancy pantyhose drooped all the way down to my knees. I hate when that happens. I walked back to my seat very limping. I looked at Bo again. Sometimes ladies have to go under the table and adjust themselves. I said, Bo looked curious at me. They do? She asked, of course they do. That's how come they make the tablecloth so long. Who knew? After that, I ducked under the tablecloth and I quick took off my shoes. Plus, also, I took off my pantyhose. Ah, oh, better, I said. Then I climbed back onto my chair again and I wiggled my piggy toes all around in the air. What a relief, I said. Loose feet. Look at her, there are pantyhose in her head. Wiggling her toes. All of a sudden, my eyes got big and wide and I did a gasp. <gasps> Cause that reminded me of what mother and daddy told me. Bo, hey Bo, I said real thrilled. Loose feet, get it? I have loose feet. Huh, what, said Bo. Remember they said um, foot loose and fancy furry? And so that's how come I told her all about my boyfriend named Ricardo and how he wanted to chase other people and how mother and daddy said I should have loose feet. Get it, Bo? Get it? Mother and daddy were right. Loose feet are funner than grown-up feet. After that, I quick got on my knees and I clinked my water glass with my spoon and also I clinked my plate and my fork and my head. Sometimes it's fun to be little. Right, Bo? Right, right. I said, me and Boo, me and Bo clinked spoons. Right, she said real giggly. After that, I made a puppet out of my napkin and I made it bite Bo's nose. And that is not even the best part. Because after lunch, me and Bo skipped around the whole entire room in bare feet. And we throwed flower petals on people's heads and no one even got mad. Because when you're little, you can get away with those kind of shenanigans. It was the funnest time I ever had. And guess what else? After the reception, me and Bo hugged each other goodbye, and she said she will call me sometime. And I said I will write her a letter. Only first I have to learn how to spell more words, I said. Bo shrugged her shoulders. That's okay. First I have to learn to read, she said. After that, both of our daddies picked us up, and they carried us out to the parking lot. Oh, they made new friends. Look, neither one of them have shoes on. They both have loose feet. Hey, look how high up I am, Bo, I hollered to her. I am as tall as a grown-up lady almost. Only grown-up ladies don't even get carried, and so too bad for them. Right, Bo? Right? Right, hollered Bo. After that, we waved goodbye at each other. First, I waved my hand. Then I waved my whole entire arm. Plus, also, I waved all of my ten piggy toes. I laughed real happy. See, Daddy, see, I've got loose feet just like you said. Then Daddy laughed too, and we sang the pretty bride song all the way to the car. <laughs> How'd you like that? That was great. So finally, Junie B realized that it's okay to be little. So that's what I like to tell you guys. Stay little while you can. It's pretty fun. Now let's see what the author, Barbara Park, says about writing this book. I always love reading this part. She says, like Junie B, I would have loved to have been a flower girl when I was little. To me, weddings seemed like events straight out of fantasy land. All those swooshy satin dresses and the beautiful bouquets of flowers. But most of all, what I really, really loved was that hugey big cake. I'm sorry to say that I haven't gotten better with age. At the last wedding I attended, my husband spent the afternoon pointing to my mouth and telling me to wipe off the icing. So after years of going to weddings, here's my best advice to all. Dress up, behave in a dignified manner, and bring lots of tissues. 
You can wrap extra cake in the tissues and sneak it right out the door. Now that's some good advice. See you next time.